Alright guys, so I'm really hungry, so we, instead of waiting for munchies, I'm going to what I would call a snack portion. Hi, Pouncy. Doggo? Come here. Thanks, baby. We're gonna warm up this tonkatsu ramen. It's not the black garlic one, although I prefer that one, but yeah. Anyways, I gotta let the dog out first. I don't use a spice packet, I just use sriracha because it's better in my opinion. And like on here, it just says to fill it up to the line, take this top completely off, and four minutes in the microwave. I gotta let the dog out. So. Dog is out, so I gotta run him back in when he barks. This much left for me. And warm it up in the microwave. put it for 4 minutes 30 seconds because I like my noodles a little soggier we'll come back when the noodles are done alright so my ramen's done dog is crazy okay that's hot so let's put you guys over here and hopefully I'm gonna walk out This isn't my house, but they have chopsticks, so I use chopsticks any moment I can. Fluff the noodles. You always gotta fluff the noodles. I might put some oyster sauce on it this time and see if it makes it better. It's gonna go in first. And this brand of oyster sauce, the Panda Lee Kumhi. Lee Kumhi. how it looks and then we're gonna mix i've tried the black garlic one that one's really good this one's like the og with the spice packet so. 
just mix. I usually mix it until I feel like all the powder's dissolved. That extra 30 seconds really makes the noodles more chunky, more soggy, but more chewy and soft looking. That's the way that I prefer to like it. But also, this that's how I like it with Japanese ramen noodles, instant noodles, and Thai instant noodles. The Korean instant noodles, those are good chewy, not good soggy, but I'm pretty sure this one's Japanese. I could be mistaken, this one could be Korean, but these noodles are just a little bit better soggy. These are the Nongshim Donkatsu premium ramen. So this has sriracha, the soup base packet, the entire soup base packet, and oyster sauce. Oops. Here is how it looks all mixed up. for the taste because this is the first time that I've put um, oyster sauce in it. Making sure that all of the powder is actually dissolved. Ready. I need to get like a good grip. Oyster sauce really gives it that umami flavor that it really needs. It makes it a lot richer. But that's me saying that with just adding the soup base only and leaving this out and adding sriracha. So last time it had just sriracha in the soup base packet and I felt like it was missing something. It's the oyster sauce. Although if you just drink it like this, it's a little, a little salty, but I can handle that. Not sure if you can, or if you prefer that or not, but I need a little bit more sodium for my functionality. At least that's, that's what munchies. I don't know how other Asian people can just slurp up super hot ramen noodles. I burn my mouth doing that. This is so good. Although, the black garlic, the black garlic oil one is good on its own. Like, just the packet with the soup base and the black garlic oil. That one's just so good on its own. This one is like... A tonkatsu ramen that I just need at home for a quick meal, a quick snack. Add my oyster sauce, sriracha, if I was at home, the golden mountain soy sauce, and squid sauce, squid fish sauce, squid bread, fish sauce.
and I was under the impression when we went to Costco that this one was the black garlic oil one, but I should have paid more attention to it. Although, it's still pretty good. You could always doctor it up. Most people doctor up all their ramen. I just burnt my mouth. With that being said, this is a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend.